Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today is Tuesday, which means I'm doing art around the world, which is art history. And for the month of June, I wanted, I'm doing the country of Hong Kong. And this is the last one. It's kind of a wrap up video. But today I wanted to talk about the Hong Kong Ballet. So this company was created in 1979, and they're a venue and partner of the Hong Kong Cultural Center. Now I am on their YouTube page and I will get into all the different things that they offer on their YouTube page, but just know they have over 400 videos and we're gonna watch some of them together because it's just amazing. So it, they do tour and in 2010, they began performing around the world, um, South America, Australia, Germany. Uh, in 2012, they began performing in Canada and the United States. Um, they currently aren't touring right now just because of COVID and taking safety precautions with themselves and others. So this ballet company does a really cool thing that I think is amazing. So they kind of mix 19th to 21st century classical and contemporary works, like ballet performances, um, that have heritages and origins in Europe, and they mix that with Hong Kong culture and history. So they do such a huge, wide variety of things. Um, things you've seen and things you've never seen or heard of. And I just think that incorporating and including everything is awesome. I'm, I'm here for it. So let's find another really cool um, let's let's see what this one is. I don't know. I haven't seen all of them. This is their Nutcracker. So um, let's see. They do p full performances of things like Swan Lake, The Sleeping Beauty, Nutcracker, obviously, um, Giselle, and these are kind of very famous, iconic ballet performances that I think you've heard of at least one of those. I know they have Cinderella that's coming up, I believe, next month in July. So many of their donors, and, or sorry, dancers are from China, but they do have dancers from other parts of the world. So they have a dancer from Australia, Canada, Philippines, United Kingdom, and the United States. Um, they had a dancer that retired last year. He was from Cuba. Now their webpage is an absolute vision of color. I highly recommend you hopping over and just looking at the photography. If you are interested in photography of dancers, of movement, of people, it's absolutely an inspiration. Ooh, let's watch that. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Oh, we have a commercial. <laughs> Hold on. So, Yeah, I don't know who does all the photography of their dancers, but it is absolutely breathtaking. All the color and the positions, and they just really utilize everything. If you are interested in costume design, it is absolutely phenomenal. The costumes they come up with, I believe the head of their wardrobe is a woman by the name of Joanne Chung. And I will link an article about her because she is absolutely fascinating with how she cares for, preserves, and makes hundreds of costumes with just a team of five. So I am on their YouTube and I think their YouTube channel is absolutely spectacular. They should have absolutely more subscribers. So they have videos obviously that advertise their upcoming performances, but they also have like interviews with the dancers, with the team that put these ballet performances together. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have classes. So have you ever wondered what an adult ballet class looks like or entails? They have that. They have two videos on there currently. One is about 38 minutes. The other one's about 45. And they are in English, which thank you for being inclusive because I really, really appreciate that. Uh, they have kids classes. And they have sort of these animated shorts that are under five minutes that are really cool that kind of introduce kids to different famous ballets. And these subtitles are in English. 
and they are really really cool I don't know who's doing the animation it's lovely um, and I just have to say that like folks that sort of make knowledge and skills and information accessible to everyone are my favorite because they're giving it away for free they have bar classes uh, for the ballet bar that are over an hour long that are in English they have um, an arts and crafts web page I will link to some of this stuff from their main web page where you can make articulated paper dolls um, if you've ever wanted to try layered paper cut art they have templates and stencils for that so you can learn how to do that. Um, they have a tiara making competition that's going on right now that's absolutely adorable. And I'll link everything in the description box below if you're interested. Um, their social networking is also very accessible with everything having tons of English um, translated portions. Um, they're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Their Instagram is absolutely stunning and highlights a bunch of just everybody that is involved in the ballet process, which is great. Their videos on point shoes that have English subs are fascinating. They have ballet hair. Um, there is a five minute ab workout for dancers. And I'm gonna see if my husband wants to do it. <laughs> we'll see, it looks horrendous. I'm not doing it, but it looks awesome. So. They offer classes and workshops for kids, obviously, through this ballet. But if you or someone you know is in training or wants to become a professional ballet dancer, they do have auditions. So that is a thing this ballet company does offer. So you can apply now for the 2022-2023 season, and it's a 12-month contract that begins August of this year. Um, I will link to that and... They have an application thing online and they absolutely understand the limitations of air travel. So the first round of auditions is via video, which I think is very considerate. And I'll link all that too. I just think that, cause I have been to quite a few ballet web pages in my time. Um, our eldest was in ballet for a time. And I think the amount of information that they offer and that they make accessible to everyone and the stuff they talk about. They have tons of photos of performances, all these things. It's just so welcoming and so inviting and so colorful and so inspiring. Like it just makes me want to like try a dance class, photograph a dancer, like make a tiara. Like it's just a really, really cool thing. And I just love that about the Hong Kong ballet company. I just really, really love that. So doing Hong Kong isn't easy for art around the world. It's very much intertwined with China. So I tried to sort of extrapolate that as much as I could to the best of my ability. But there is a lot of overlap. So I really hope that you enjoyed art around the world in Hong Kong. This is absolutely stunning. Like this the colors and the dancers and the skill and all the things that go into it. I mean, just costume design alone, set design, lighting, choreography. It's just everything I love in art. Like whoever painted and worked on these designs in the background, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love everything about this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.